So far we've looked at how to create a chart um, with two different chart types contained within it, for example a line chart and a column chart all on the same graph. We've also looked at how to change the layout of the chart, uh, perhaps putting the titles in a different place or the, putting the, uh, the values onto the, onto the chart. It's now time to have a look at the scale settings of the axes. It's usually done automatically for you. We need to know how to take control over that. So I'll insert a, a simple chart to work with. Um, we've got our data selected and I'm just going to do insert column. I'm going to have a simple 2D column chart. There's my chart. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Move things around a bit. Okay. So when I'm talking about the scale, I'm talking about the axes values here. Um, I'm just going to work on this value axis, though most of the things that we're going to be looking at can also be done on the x-axis as well, the category axis. So working on this uh, axis to the left-hand side, the vertical or the value axis, we need to select it first. So again, remember you can just simply click it, or we can use the Layout tab to select it from the current selection section. So I'm going to choose the vertical or value axis. And you can see that it's selected that whole axis for us. Once that's selected, we can check, sorry, not check, we can select format selection from this same current selection section. So it's format selection. We're just going to look for the moment at the axis option in the Format Axis dialog box. You should all spend some time looking at the rest of these as well. Axis Options then is what we're looking at. And you can see this first section, the Axis Options, Minimum, Maximum, Major Unit and Minor Unit are all set to Auto. But what are they? Well, let's take the Minimum first. It's on Auto and you can see greyed out there zero. What that means is, looking back at our chart, the, val the value axis starts at zero. The minimum value of this axis is zero. It's picked that up automatically for us. We can change it. If we check, move that out of the way, you can see that the values for our data don't start to oh, about 800. So we've got a lot of wasted space here, perhaps. So what I'm going to do is change that minimum value. Instead of having it at zero, let's change it by clicking Fixed and change it to 500. As I click into another section of this dialog box, those changes are applied automatically to the chart. And you can see that lower value is now 500 and all the columns have been rescaled accordingly. Let's switch that. So that's the minimum. We can do the same for the maximum. It's currently at 1900. But the values only go to 1800. So we can change that. I want to, want to make that a bit higher. So I'm going to change the, from the auto, I'm going to click fixed for the maximum and change it to 2000. Let's see how we're getting on. What we've got is a starting value of 500 and an upper value of 2000. But we can't see the value of 2000. I'll come back to that, don't worry. But that's what we've changed. By selecting the vertical value axis and then formatting the selection, axis options, and altering these from, minim from auto to fixed values. Now the reason we can't see that 2000, over here it's 1900, the reason we can't see it as 2000 is for this next feature which is the mid major unit values. That means the steps, you can see 500 to 700 to 900, they are steps of 200. Again, Excel picks that up for you and it set it automatically, major unit set automatically to 200. I'm going to change that and make it, let's make it 100. And you can see, as soon as I click away from that, that scaling has now changed. And we're going up in steps of 100. And now we can see the full extent from 500 
to 2000. You can also do the same for the minor units. Other things we can do on this screen is the display units. We've got values there up to 2000. What we can do is change those, not the actual values, but change the way in which they're displayed. And we can do that using this display unit section. It's currently set on none. Let's change it to thousands and see what happens. You can see that's now displayed as thousands. So 1,000, 2,000. And that titling that it's put onto there, we can switch that on and off by using this tick box. Show display unit labels on chart. It removes the thousand label or puts the label on. So that's displaying the unit in thousands. Let's display it in hundreds. We've now got 20 hundreds, which of course is 2,000. We've now got 10 hundreds, which is 1,000. So you can change the way in which those axes are labelled quite simply. And that's without changing the actual data. We're not making change the data, we're just changing the way in which it's displayed. Always have a little click around. We can put tick marks in, for example. That says, can you see between the number 2000 coming across the line, we've got the line continues past the axis point. They're called the ticks. So we've got the major tick switched on outside. So it means outside of the actual chart area. We can change that to inside. See, it's disappeared now. We can change it to across. So depending on the type of chart you've got, these settings have more or less effect. We can put the minor tick marks on, putting all the little values in between 500 and 600, going up in steps there of whatever this is. So they're going up in steps of 40. So you can make lots of changes. Um, all you need to do is understand that to make changes to the settings, you need to select the area of the chart that you want to work with. I've done that by selecting the Layout tab, coming across to the Current Selection section, and then dialing up, using the drop-down, the area of the chart that I want to work with, then Format Selection, and have a play around. See what effect all these settings have got.